Good morning, good morning. Yes, we come to a Sunday again. And on this Sunday, we are remembering our Harvest Festival. We're remembering it because in the church I attend here in Christchurch, Harvest has been celebrated this week. Some churches celebrated last week, some will be celebrating in the weeks ahead. But today we are keeping the Harvest Festival. I think Harvest is a very good feast for us to keep. It reminds us once again how vulnerable we are to the world in which we live. You know, we hear lots about climate change, we hear lots about famines, we hear lots about all sorts of natural disasters. And it reminds us of our need in this world. If the food doesn't grow, then we don't eat. If we don't eat, we starve. If we starve, we die. It's as simple as that. We are, our lives are so dependent upon the world in which we live. We go, go to the supermarket and there the shelves are stacked with food. Well, I know recently the, the amounts have been decreasing and the supermarkets, as usual, are playing the usual shrinkage game. So when you go to buy something, you find it's not quite as big as it was last time we went to buy it. But still the food is there and to a large extent we in this country, well, we just go there, we buy it and we expect it to be there week by week. And sometimes we forget that this food had to be grown. We forget that this had to be prepared for us. Because if it wasn't prepared for us and wasn't grown in this way, then quite simply, our lives would come to an end. You know, recently we've been struck with this pandemic. And I think people have been almost shocked. Shocked by the fact that a simple virus like this can attack our bodies. A simple virus like this can turn us from healthy, strong people and literally take our lives away. It's almost come as an outstanding shock. Somebody should do something is the general attitude. But of course we are living in this world and we are dependent upon this world. And we are dependent upon this world for the food we eat, for that which we drink, and also for the fact that we have to be kept safe from the illnesses and the bacteria and all the other things which might affect our lives and harm us in some way. <clears throat> so let's give thanks today. Let's give thanks today and remember that God has given us this food in order that we can eat. He has prepared it for us and thank him for it. It's not Sainsbury's or Tesco's we should be thanking, but the God who has provided the food for us. And the same way as we thank God for the physical food we eat for the clothes we wear, for the homes we live in, for the friends that we have. We also thank him as well for the gospel, that message to us that in fact eternal life is lying ahead of us and that he has given us and promised us this through the life and death of Jesus. We are going to live forever because of what Jesus has given us and we thank him for that as well, for the gospel which we proclaim. The song I'm going to sing, the hymn I'm going to sing, is we plough the fields and scatter. Because although many of you have never scattered seed, never looked for crops, never done any of these things, it's good just to remind ourselves, to remind ourselves that this, in fact, has been done for us. And that is why we've been able to live for another year. We plough the fields and scatter. We plow the fields and scatter the good seed on the land, but it is fed and watered by God's almighty hand. He sends the snow in winter, the warmth to swell the grain, the breezes our lands run shine and soft refreshing rain. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. Then thank the Lord, oh thank the Lord for all his love. Yes, just stop for a moment. Just stop for a moment and think of the food you have in the house at this moment. It's being provided for you by a loving God. Prepared 
by farmers, prepared by fishermen, prepared in all sorts of ways for you to eat. But eventually, if you go back far enough and find where it comes from, you are totally dependent on the God who has given it to you. He only is the maker of all things near and far. He paints the wayside flower. He lights the evening star. The winds and waves obey him. By him the birds are fed. Much more to us his children. He gives my daily bread. All good gifts around us ascend from heaven above. Oh, thank the Lord, oh, thank the Lord for all his love. I don't know what meals you're going to be having today, but before you start eating, before you just consume them, why don't you all just stop for a moment? Think of where it's come from and thank God who has given it to you so that you can remain healthy and be able to have that which you need in order to live. Amen. <laughs>